I'd like to home make every meal with healthy seasonal ingredients, but the reality is sometimes we're hungry and I just don't have the energy to start from scratch. Maybe you know that feeling. So today we're going to go into my last minute pantry and pull together three totally healthy Mediterranean style dinner recipes. Last minute Mediterranean meals. When you're hungry, tired, and stumped for what to make for dinner, you've got a few options. Go the expensive and maybe less healthy route and pick up carry out or order it delivered. Or the affordable and much healthier route, open the freezer and reheat something or reach into the pantry to make a fast and flavorful dinner in less than 30 minutes. And if you've watched my video on what I call my last minute pantry, then you'll know exactly what I stock to pull this off. Today's three dinners are the kinds of Mediterranean meals George and I make every week. And if you're like us, you'll love spending less money and time to get a tasty lunch or dinner on the table and stay on a healthy track. So if that sounds good to you, pull up a chair, grab a glass, and join me in my Mediterranean kitchen while I make three different healthy Mediterranean style meals from what we have on hand. Put two cups of pasta on to boil. Two tablespoons of olive oil over medium-high heat. Saute two cups of large diced zucchini for just a few minutes with a bit of salt. Now add one teaspoon each of garlic powder and paprika and a pinch of chili pepper. Add one can of tomato vegetable sauce. Rinse the can with one can of water. Add one can of butter beans and blend. A bit more salt and it's time to mix in the pasta. Finish it off with some fresh bits of basil and parmesan cheese. You can serve it straight from the pan. Rough chop some hard boiled eggs and slice small wedges of the most flavorful tomatoes you can find. We're making the dressing first as a marinade for the tomatoes with one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, one and a half tablespoons of Spanish sherry vinegar, one tablespoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of dried tarragon or thyme, one tablespoon of roasted garlic paste or two minced cloves. Now we'll blend this all together and let it rest in the fridge while we assemble the other ingredients. Sliver up some little pickled piquillo peppers and drain a can of tuna. There's no extra step to make a separate dressing. We have the very best in the tomato marinade. And just finish it off with a sprinkle of chopped parsley and some capers. Sometimes leftovers are even better than the originals. An overnight stay in the fridge gives the flavors a little more time to marry and meld together. And when that happens, I take advantage and assemble a leftover packed burrito for an equally healthy lunch or dinner. Like this whole grain rice, almond, and bean dish I fixed last night. It was really good, but secretly, I was glad we had extra because I like it best the next day. Rolled up with a whole grain tortilla with a little avocado, queso fresco, tomato, shredded kale, and salsa. Chop up some kale, spinach, or lettuce and a bit of basil if you have it. Sliver or small dice some tomatoes. Cut thin pieces of queso fresco or crumble whatever cheese you have in your fridge. Dice a ripe avocado and start layering that burrito with your leftover bean and rice dish. Finish it off with a squeeze of lemon juice or some salsa, and you've got a last minute healthy lunch or dinner. Even though I spend plenty of time in the kitchen, it doesn't always mean I'll be in the mood to spend more time fixing something when it comes around to dinner time. And when this happens, I'm really happy to have a few super simple last minute pantry packed ideas at the ready. 
Now it's time for you to dig into your last minute pantry and fridge and surprise yourself with just how creative you can be. And if you want to peek inside my last minute pantry, just click on this video right now and take a look.